Hello YouTube, this is going to be a tutorial on how to put a game boot on your PSP. And I'm going to start with a really common game boot, the Prince of Persia Blood Splat one. It's a really cool one. And first, you're going to have to start off with this website. I'm going to put this in the description box, but if it doesn't work afterwards, you just go to www.freewebs.com slash PSP modding with two D's, of course, slash gameboots.htm. Alright. And then you're going to want to download it and save the file. But I already saved it. So I'm going to go to my downloads. And there it is. Alright, so you're going to want to turn on your PSP, and I'll be back with that. Okay, you see my PSP. Sorry, the video quality is really crappy, but I have a really sucky camera. So, you're going to want to turn it all the way off by holding it for three seconds it totally shuts down you're going to want to put your right I don't know if you can really see it but I'll put it into light you're going to want to put your right finger down while you are turning it back on it should put you to the screen sorry that it is really really bad quality you're going to want to make sure that you have your USB already connected I know you can't see it but you want to scroll down to advance and then scroll down to toggle USB flash zero you press X and then you should have something pop up on your computer and this should pop up on your computer screen you're going to want to open up the files of view and then open up the VSH folder then click on resource and then you see game boot let's say you don't like the new game boot you get and you want to go back to the original PSP game boot you're going to want to back up those files in a new folder or in a flash drive and yeah so I already did that on my flash drive and I'm gonna open up my other game boot. Where did I put it? And there's my game boot. I'm gonna wanna drag it over to this opening and just drop it there. That being if you do have your folders your file is backed up you are going to say copy and replace and then you have it exit out and you're going to want to you're going to want to <laughs> you're going to want to eject your PSP and then go back to your PSP you want to click back after you've done this method and then it say exit and your PSP should shut down turn it back on if it doesn't reboot and I'm going to show you what the game boots on mine going to look like And you have a good game boot. Enjoy, subscribe, and comment. Also, if you have questions, ask me.